All right, everyone, we're back for another day, day two, different auction. We're kind of getting to that time of the year where it's going to be uh, auction season. And uh, my favorite thing to do is kind of go to auctions and back-to-back -back days. Definitely a lot of fun. Um, just kind of make a note here. You might be able to see some remaining residue. This is my bag. That's like my emergency bag of jumper cables. There was a bird's nest on top of that bag. I have no idea how a bird built a nest inside my van, but somehow it happened. I, I really have no idea because I don't leave my windows ever open. I mean, I leave my door open when I pack for the flea market. Maybe the back door, they can get through that. Uh, they can fly through the little holes that are in my, like, my, um, my bulkhead. But I really have no idea how a bird built a nest inside my van. Like it was a legit bird's nest. And I didn't like put it there. It wasn't there before. Like it was inside. I don't, I just, I literally have no idea. But uh, that was kind of the wild thing to do yesterday. The wild thing to do today is hopefully get some treasure. Should be a fun one. Let's get to the auction and see what kind of treasure we can buy today. Let's do it. You guys might see there's actually a runway right over there. Right there, it's a runway. That's the airport the hangars. Got some airplanes over here, and that's a runway. And we're going to an auction right there. I thought this looked like a commercial. You guys already know. I gotta take a look over here at these things. Ah, that's a good one. Is that the Kubler? Oh, well, it was good if it wasn't. No, it's the, I think it's coal. No? I don't know what the heck it is. So when it bottles like this, it means it's dug up. That's why it's all cloudy. If you're wondering about the monetary value on it. Um, yeah, it's not great. <laughs> uh, but... When it comes to bottles, these are pretty desired. They're blob tops. They're called stubby bottles. It's not a pontal base though, which would add value. So I don't know if it's called flat bottom, but it's a, oh geez. So one of the things with every auction is everyone's a little bit different. This one, a lot of the stuff is marked. This has got to be shelf contents. See how it just marked shelf contents? That probably means that she won't even say, she might say, but most likely it'll be like, you're buying just the contents of the shelf, one shelf, two shelves, and then you just bid. Um, and realistically, the stuff will probably sell pretty cheap. I don't really see a whole lot here that I really want on these shelves, but that's how this auctioneer does it. Some will also, if there's better quality stuff, they'll go like, you're, you're buying choice of what level on the shelf. So that's kind of how some auctioneers work. Not seeing a whole lot up here. The best stuff I think is in there, uh, it's a hanger. So I'll show you that here in a bit. All right, so I think the big money is out here in this. 
Okay, so this is gonna be really crazy. That's actually an airport hangar. At least that's what I believe it is. There's a little, I'll even show you. There's a little driveway that goes from the hangar to the airport, which is right next door. So at this auction, there's a lot of airplane related stuff. I don't know if the guy was actually, well, it seems like he was a pilot for TWA because there's a lot of captain and pilot stuff for TWA. So I assume he probably also had like a little small, you know, maybe a Cessna or something. I don't know where that is because I don't see it, but he probably drove his airplane into this hangar. And then whenever he was done, he just drove the airplane onto this road out to the airport. <laughs> Obviously not a Boeing 737, but probably something small. But yeah, I'll show you over here. This is the driveway. Yeah, it had to be. And it's got this that's supposed to be, I think, the middle line for your, your tire. And you probably just drove it right over there. And on our side of those hangars is an airfield. That's really cool. That is amazing. Now there's a fire hydrant. Yes, this is something I was after. Don't know how heavy it is. Oh my goodness. I don't know if I can move that. Hey, how's it going? It'll just be like contents of this. That's a serious vice right here. I thought this was where the money is. It looks like it's mostly just bits and bits and pulleys. Did that even right? Bits and pulleys. Um, a lot of just content stuff, which I guess you can just drive over there and drive over here to load up. I, I don't know if I mentioned, but I am leaving early, unfortunately. Um, this video is actually getting recorded the day before Easter. So a lot of Easter stuff I'm doing today so can't be here all day but it's not an excuse not to buy things it's just maybe a reasoning why i'm not going to buy everything i don't even know what the prices will be but it seems like this is going to be a good sale lots of content lots when was this last inspected diesel everyone loves the diesel Inspection, 1986 Chevy, 2004. So it's been sitting a while. Who knows what it will sell for? I wonder if you just used it to drive around here. couple of YouTube channels that uh did is that what I think it is there's a tree growing inside there huh. what <laughs> now what is this thing what even is that looks like some torture device fiberglass 
underground tank for petroleum. Uh, these for use them for fuel, some sort of uh, airplane fuel. I got some flatbed trucks. A thing that I have no purpose for, but it'd be awesome to have. There are YouTube channels that like literally just buy stuff from auctions like this truck and will fix it up and drive it just like that tractor. Kind of cool, something I'm not very uh, familiar with, but would definitely be kind of a fun project. If I was a diehard like handyman, that would be kind of fun to do because I know these things aren't going to sell for a lot of money. There you go. Anybody have a dollar for all the boots? Dollar for them all? 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 Okay, over here on my bike side. All right, let's try to buy the shelf on this shelf, and then we're going to sell the shelf itself. So, anybody have five shelves? Um, anybody else? Ten, ten a lot, or right up now, 12 and a half. I've got 10, 12 and a half. We're down now, 15, 17 and a half, 20. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, I'm at 17 and a half. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20 and a half, 22 and a half, 25. All right, so I bought some contents. Auction's not over yet. There on the first floor, I was like looking around, I was like, I don't really want anything over here. So I'm gonna get my gloves and start loading up some of my content stuff. I bought a whole shelving unit, all oils and stuff for 10 bucks. Um, gotta find some things I need. WD-40, because I only have about 30 cans of it. All right, so I just bought all this down here for five bucks. All this merch. I don't, I don't I don't know what's even here. There's some copper in there. They're selling that big roller. I don't even think I got it on camera. 375. This uh, snow blowers, 90 bucks. Asking 500. Uh, let's start with the blower back there. Anybody 20 for it? 20 for it? How about 10? How about 10 to go? 10 to go? 10 to go? How about 5? How about 5 and a 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 5? Okay, let's break this up just a little bit. This is a lot. Up to the uh, weed whackers up there, including this chainsaw. Anything in this little circle here. Buy the piece of your choice. Buy the piece of your choice. Anybody, 10 a piece and go. 10 a piece and go. Be quick for me. How about 10 to go? 10 to go. How about 12? 15? How about 12? 15? How about 15? 15? How about 15? How about 7 and a half? If it's 7 and a half, if it's 20, how about 20? If it's 20, yes, I'm 20. I got 20. How about 22 and a half? If it's 22 and a half, if it's 20. Okay, the door is going open. I have so many. Well, I've sold so many uh, door stops in my day. This is my tour stop right now. It's kind of falling apart. Look at this. This is because. Look at what's happened to this soda can. Think it'll break if I drop it? Well, maybe not. I guess not. Are all of them like that? I don't think so. Some might be. That's because it froze. This is my doorstop. I used to use that guy, but he's falling apart as well. Alrighty, so this is all the goodies that I got for uh, $29. Um, got some pretty cool things. Uh, it did a uh, I did see this bottle. I don't know why I grabbed it. It is empty. Um, I don't know if this is really expensive stuff, but someone had a bottle very similar to this at an auction that was full. I just remember the label. I don't remember what was on the bottle. Um, but they bought it for like five bucks or whatever, and someone stole it from them at the auction. And that's the probably like, that's the one thing about auctions is 
it's great all to be buying a lot it's great a lot you know to have a huge bundle but some people like just like take other people's stuff and go through other people's piles because you know they see no one's looking and they think they can get away with it um, or maybe if you buy like the contents of a shelf maybe you think that you bought the contents of that shelf and the shelf next to it because it might combine the shelves and then realistically you only bought one shelf so you might take something off the other person like, so, like auctions are known for this thing's kind of going on um so i put that away but i don't know why i did because it's empty um it just kind of brought back memories that's the only reason why i grabbed this because i remember the other guy getting so upset over it i thought maybe it was worth money um but i did buy just a handful of stuff i did buy the uh, the contents of the clothing in the attic once someone else took what they wanted um it was kind of like a, a big thing it was kind of unfortunate um, I, I didn't make a scene over it. I realistically, I probably should have. Um, the auctioneer usually sells stuff, you know, buy a piece, like in terms of, you know, if you're buying choice off the shelf or whatever, um, choice off the racks. I guess this person must have been new to auctions. I'm not too familiar with it, um, but they just took like 10 shirts off the racks and made their own pile. And then they sold the pile. Um, so, um, I don't know, but that's just kind of how it went. Um, hopefully it doesn't happen again in the future. I don't think it will. But once they bought their pile, the auctioneer pretty much asked if anyone else wanted anything, and no one did, so I just bought the remaining bits of what was on the shelf. So I think I spent $3, or at least on the rack. I spent 3 bucks. Um, I got some good things out of it. Nothing really too crazy. Got an older Ohio State University Buckeyes. Um sweatshirt some older denim there's also like i think a flight jacket in there as long as i made sure to pack it i got some goodies i got this blanket as well so that's kind of cool um so i was definitely able to pick up some things uh other things i grabbed is all this stuff lots of box lot stuff just a sorted box over there some copperware i got myself a rug I don't know if it's old or if it's going to sell, but we'll see. I did buy contents of some shelves. So I got myself a lot of liquids and a lot of WD-40. This stuff is pretty expensive. You go to the store. I bet you I might have things like $15 for that pack. A lot of stuff's brand new, never used. Nice horns. Yeah, so it was a it was a fun day. Um, it was an awesome day. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this treasure hunt. Got some copper, got some license plates, all sorts of goodies. It was fun to get out to the auction. I love going to this auctioneer's auctions. I didn't stick around for the stuff that was in that uh, that hangar building. Unfortunately, we had to leave, and um, the, the prices weren't getting cheaper. This is usually the toughest time of the year to go out to an auction. Or go, well, I'd say just go to an auction and buy stuff. Um, the prices right now are just usually through the roof because everything is opening back up and everyone has that itch and that cabin fever to kind of get out and go buy. So if you're an auctioneer, now is the time to have an auction. Don't wait until it's 97 degrees out because I'm telling you right now, inside that, uh, that hangar, it would have smelled so bad with all that oil and grease and everything else if it was heated up. Um, and that's why a lot of people just stuck around because it was nice out there wasn't any issues you weren't sweating you know you weren't feeling sick just a nice day for an auction but i didn't stick around a lot of people were still there when i left maybe 60 to 70 people which is very unfamiliar usually at auctions you get down to like the last 30 minutes to an hour there might be 10 or 15 of you so uh, i don't think there's many deals to be had towards the end but obviously i wasn't around to see it other than that, it's been a fun one. If you guys enjoyed the video, hit the like button. Thanks for tagging along. Subscribe down below for more treasure hunts. Catch you guys next time for the next adventure. Until next time, have a great day. Keep living the dream. Peace.